That was a great win. Um, I think uh, I like the fact that we're 3-0 in one-run games. Um, you know, it's a little maybe misleading because I feel like the last two nights were one-run games. But um, today um, we had to break some kind of record for how many guys of theirs we stranded on base. And, that, I mean, Mikhail kind of battled, you know, maybe wasn't great, but he left a lot of guys out there that didn't cross the plate. Sammy did that. Eric left the bases loaded uh, twice. And then Riley did a great job finishing up, pitching on his third day in a row. And um, so I think the story was the the bullpen. And then the story was just we finally were able to put together our character of at-bats, like two and three in a row. And um, that's going to be really important going forward because we're going to hit some homers. You know, like the, the, we've seen that the last couple of days. I just thought the consistency and the quality at-bats was much better today. So I think it's a good recipe. I really believe all these games are the, going to be the same. I, that's a really good team. I don't know what anybody has said about them or this and that, but their infusion of, of talent from the transfer portal is real. Like, I don't, I don't think anybody calculated that. Um, you know, we certainly respect them, and they played well this weekend and, and deserve to, to win a couple. Um, you know, I'm going to walk away a little disappointed, you know, to be honest with you, with, um, you know, leaving one on the table. You know, it's hard to say you should have won both of them. I thought we were very fortunate to get to 7-7 seven, seven in the eighth inning last night. Um, you know, but uh, proud of my team. You know, it's like it's, it's easy to, to pile on when, when you don't get the job done, um, you know, or get down, and, and they didn't do that. I mean, there's a lot of things uh, in the game that we need to get better at, which we're going to practice tomorrow night to just kind of turn the page on, on some of that stuff and, and get prepared for another really good team on Tuesday. Talk about the decision to move Barry to right field. Just how you feel like that worked out today? It was fine. I mean, you know, I thought Jack uh, made a couple nice plays. Um, again, in the ninth, trying to <laughs> trying to make a play. All these guys want to win bad, and, and he threw the one away. Um, but uh, he's a good competitor. I love having him in there. Um, you know, we kind of are what we are. There's no no free agency. You know what I mean? There's there's uh, some flaws in the team that we just we have to continue to try to improve on. Um, you know, I've done my best to kind of. I don't want to say hide them, you know what I mean? But, I mean, they, they, they've, they've hurt us the last couple of nights. And, and those guys will keep working hard. It's the, the defensive part of it, there's like a physical talent piece of it. And then some of it is just attitude and makeup. And I think the attitude and makeup of, of the guys that you saw compete their rear end off today will, will get better. I mean, I know it's not the answer that anybody wants, but we're, we're going to keep working and, and keep, keep getting better. Um, the, the guys have too much character. I was disappointed in – uh, last night, um, you know, leaving a couple runs on the board because I do think we'd improved. I think it, over five games coming into the series, we'd only mishandled one play in the infield, and and that was an improvement. So, um, you know, we just we got to get better. How did it feel to though end the game on two pretty solid defensive plays? I mean, one of them was kind of broken, but how did you feel to see? Dodie and Morgan get those big moments for you. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's a good job by Cade uh, being tall um, and, and having a good ability to jump, um, you know, and position well, um, which, you know, Coach Fitzgerald and Coach Wanaka have, have done a really good job at that. So it was great that he was standing where he was and he's a good athlete. Um, unbelievable play by Trey. I mean, unbelievable play to rally, to get the ball, get his feet turned and throw a strike. Um, I mean, that was that was easily the play of the game today. Did, did you tell Dylan anything special in the on-deck circle in the bottom of the eight? Yeah, just, I mean, we, we've, uh, as of a few weeks ago, we just kind of blueprinted um, his approach with runners in scoring position and just a subtle reminder of that. Um, but he's been better there, too. I mean, he's really slowing the game down um, on the mistake. When I mean, Chris Cortez is up to 97 miles an hour, I'd sign that guy at Arizona, and, you know, with the coaching change, it just kind of broke broke free. and. Um, you know, wasn't really sure of our money situation here at the time, and so he ended up at Texas A&M, and he's got a great arm. So to, to really um, turn on a ball like that and hit it hard to the infield, it just shows you how special Dylan is as a hitter. Coach, with Barry, do you think that you might be trying to force feed him to play defense a little bit? Do you think well, he's just more comfortable? Well, our team's our team because there's two sides of the coin. Is like you, we're not going to get through SEC play with seven right-handed hitters in the lineup. We're going to get carved. And uh, we saw some of that this weekend. And so it's a little bit of give and take. And um, I have confidence in the, in the makeup part of it. Um, and uh, we'll go forward with it. He's going to play in the field. Like, that's, that's what we're doing right now.
Do you is think it more of a confidence thing? Not not talking about Barry, but just in the team in general. Well, is they it, have to get. Pa- it doesn't matter. Like they have to. If it is, they have to get past it. I mean, I mean, I push them really hard, but we're in general we're pretty positive staff. Um, you know, and we're just gonna gonna work. If it is confidence, it's gotta gotta get over that. You know what I mean? And um, and get over that hump. You know, we have high aspirations for our team. Have higher aspirations for the program in general over a long period of time here. Um, and it's college baseball, man. I mean, you know, that's a, there's a good team over there, and it wasn't pretty on their side as well. Um, you know, you look up around the country, and, you know, scores are weird, and there's upsets and this and that. And, you know, for the most part, you know, I'm very happy being miserable at 15-5 and five right now. So um, it's a good problem to have. There's a lot of coaches that would, would love to have my problems and our problems. And, and I'm just telling you, we're going to work to fix them. And, and however good we can get, uh, controlling the ball, catching it, and throwing it, that's how good we're going to get. In your, in the, your past as a head coach at different st- stops, what kind of approaches have you tried to take, or does it all depend on the players in terms of – I think uh, work. is. It, it just comes back to that. I know it's simplistic reps. I mean, we've adjusted some things that we've done. Um, you know, I mean, but the relay throw in the first inning, I mean, Jordan can't catch the ball flat-footed. And, I mean, he catches the ball flat-footed, and, and he sails the throw. You know what I mean? Um, so – that's just it's a whatever you want to call it reps player intuition uh, those baseball clock you know those types of things it's all encompassing you know there's a mental part of this relative to confidence there's a baseball awareness or as coach Burtman used to say how to win awareness that we're really trying to build in guys but they, a lot of them don't have it they don't have it right now and that's just the way that it is um, and then back to the back to the work piece so I'm excited to see our team when we don't don't give away um, free bases. And I, I think we'll get there, and just, we just got to keep cracking on it. Going into today, y'all were batting 111 against left-handed pitchers from a and um, And I saw some of the players kind of looking at the strike zone, a little question, questioning some of the calls that were being made. Do you feel like it was a little bit of a culture shock for some of these batters, and then you, know, you kind of settled in later in the game, or just because? Um, um, I think they players? just, I think they just, they stayed with it. Um, in all of the games, um, you know, we only scored four, I think, on Friday. It feels like a month ago now. Um, we only scored four on Friday, but I mean, it's not a win, so it doesn't matter. But internally, to get yesterday's game back to seven to seven mm-hmm. was a miracle. Like, I mean, it felt like we were down twenty to fourteen, and it was tied seven to seven. Um, so, I mean, the, the pitching changes, the adjustment, the trying to match up, the position, the defense. I mean, it, it took everything we had to keep it at seven, mm-hmm. and it took everything we had to keep it at, at six today. As far as the approach and the left-handed pitching, um, you know, I'm proud of Riley on our side because it's hard to do that three days in a row where, I mean, their guys are uh, – Palish is a good pitcher. I've seen him for four years at, mm-hmm. at Stanford. Um, you know, he wasn't quite the same today, and, and we finally got to him a little bit when he got a little bit tired. But – uh, early on, uh, those at bats um, in the whenever we scored the first two after we were down three nothing, um, Dylan hit a ball the other way that moved. I don't remember who was running at first. I think it was Tyler uh, to third. Jacob hit a ball the other way with two strikes for an RBI. Jordan had a sack fly the other way. Um, I don't know what the numbers say. I feel like I feel very confident when we got runners in scoring position right now, and I think today was a good example of that. Coach, with the weekend rotation, did anything? Oh yeah, we got. Your nerves? I mean, no, I don't know. No. Um, no, we we got we're going back to the drawing board, and um, so you can announce it. Everybody wants to announce the rotation. It's TBA, TBA, TBA for Florida next week, and it's TBA for Tuesday. Um, I have some thoughts, some ideas. I'm going to go back and watch the entire series from a pitching standpoint. Um, I think I think we we learned some things that I think will help us, um, you know, now and, and in the future. Uh, but it's not going to be a conventional. A conventional way of, of doing things. It, it can't be. We just we're not we're not set up right now. The, you know, I have confidence in the guys to do the job that we're presenting them to do. I think it's completely unfair to ask many of them to go seven innings. It's not going to happen. Is that what you're talking about? A conventional way of doing things? Yes. Or just yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd love. We will get as a, as a program. We will get to the point where you know who the Friday pitcher is. You will know who the Saturday pitcher is. You'll know who the Sunday pitcher is. And we're going to get to the point where you know who the Tuesday pitcher is, and you're going to know who to expect rolling out of the bullpen. 
we're just not there right now. And so we could complain about it or we could do it this way. And I'm, I mean, Coach Kelly and I worked tirelessly this weekend. Um, we made one mistake in the game on Friday that I'd like to have back. And I, I should have left Riley in um, on Friday night. Um, to keep Kaler hitting right-handed. Um, but other than that, I thought, I thought we did an excellent job managing the pitching this weekend. All right, one more. Mm -hmm. oh, was Dylan the magic moment tonight? Trey Morgan, sliding, <laughs> turning, firing, going back to his old pitching days. Uh, Dylan had it, and then Trey stole, stole it from him, um, which probably was unfair because it should have been 8-6. He didn't get a very good jump off second base. So, Dylan, you can make him buy you dinner for – um, <laughs> cheating in RBI and cheating me a little stress there. So. <laughs>